Okay, the last step, and this is optional because your derailleur may work just fine. If it doesn't though, you may have a problem with the derailleur hanger. So you might have done your, your cable tension correctly, your limit screws, checked your chain and shifters, but you still got trouble getting the chain to move up or down the cassette. Sometimes you can get the chain to move up the cassette but not down, or down but not up. If that's the case, you'll want to check your derailleur hanger. The derailleur hanger is this small piece of aluminum right here that connects your derailleur to the frame with this large 5 millimeter Allen bolt. So the first thing you'll want to do is just visually inspect it from the back. And if you can see that this cage right here that holds the jockey wheels is not perpendicular with the ground, you'll know that you'll need to do some work to realign your derailleur hanger. Now if it's very minor, sometimes I'll just grab the whole unit here and bend it in or out with my hand. However, it's not very accurate and it's pretty hard to do. But if you're on the trail or out on the road, it's a good way to be able to adjust your bike on the fly. So if you don't have any the correct tool to do it, you can use a crescent wrench. And I will put the crescent wrench right there in the very bottom, as high up as you can get on this jockey pulley set. And I'll use that to help me bend the derailleur in or out. Now, since you're at Aggie Blue Bikes and we have all the tools you need, the correct way to do it is to go ahead and grab your 5mm Allen, put it in the derailleur hanger bolt here, and go ahead and remove your rear derailleur from the hanger. And just go ahead and let that flop around. Then you'll want to get your derailleur hanger adjustment tool, which is this long lever and with a bolt on the end that looks just like the derailleur bolt. And go ahead and thread that into your derailleur hanger. And be careful too not to cross thread anything here because that's not fun. Go ahead and snug it down so that this piece of metal is snug against the derailleur hanger here. And normally there's a pin here, but you can also just use a, your 5mm Allen and loosen this piece here. And this can slide up and down because the derailleur hanger bolt is not at the very center of the wheel. Your axle is. And so what you want to do is just start over here by the brake. And you push your tool in and look at the distance between the end of the tool and the rim. And as you go around, you can check every eighth part of the circumference of the wheel or so. And you want to check and see if the distance is the same all the way around. And if the tool is equidistant from uh, the rim, then you know your derailleur hanger is straight. And you can even come and check in here and use your finger to kind of keep it at the same spot. So if you find out that it's very far from the rim up here and it touches over here, what you'll want to do is go to where the tool is very close to the rim and just hold that wheel and bend the derailleur hanger in the direction that it needs to go. And by going all the way around the wheel and checking each time you make a small adjustment, you'll be able to get this the end of the tool equidistant from the rim all the way around the wheel. And when you're done, go ahead and remove the tool and reattach your derailleur. And when you reattach the derailleur, the only thing you really need to make sure to do is to you'll have to kind of go against the spring and get it high enough that the small screw here, here called the B screw, is clearing the little tab on the derailleur hanger. So go ahead and put that on and be careful with the threads again. It's pretty soft aluminum. And once you are done, get that nice and tight. And check your shifting again. And you should find out that your hard work of setting your cable tension, limit screws, chain, and shifters has all paid off and you should be good to go. And a lot of times you can bend the, the derailleur hanger by falling on the side of the bike that has the derailleur hanger, putting it in the back of a car or leaning it up against something. And these are usually pretty soft aluminum and they'll bend pretty easy. So that's something that you can do optionally to check why your shifting is not working even after all of your hard work.